Hello and welcome to the video Award to for Beginners. I am Nam Aminat Gotten Javanonet. In this video, I'd love to help you understand the fundamental basic concepts in Award to in detail. You will understand what Award to is about, understand its roles, such as resource on the resource server, concepts like authorization grant, access token, refresh token and understand the OAuth 2 object protocol flow and I will also have you understand OAuth 2 with an example with explanation and you will also understand the OAuth 2 authorization grant types or authorization flows Firstly, let's understand what OAuth 2 is about You know, OAuth Short for Open Authorization is a standard designed to allow a website or application to access resources hosted by other web applications on behalf of a user. It's a protocol that allows the user to grant a third-party website or application access to their protected resources without necessarily revealing their long-term credentials or even their identity. For example, users can sign into a third-party application using their Facebook account without providing their username and password to that third-party application. And the specification OAuth 2.0 replaced OAuth 1.0 in 2012 and it is now the de facto industry standard for online authorization. OAuth 2.0 is an authorization protocol it is not an authentication protocol and is designed primarily as a means of granting access to a set of resources such as remote APIs or user data and OAuth 2 uses access tokens uh, for authorization an access token is a piece of data that represents authorization to access resources on behalf of the end user the third-party application then uses the access token to access the protected resources hosted by the resource server. And JSON Web Token or JWT is often used as the format for access tokens. OAuth 2 defines authorization flows for web and desktop applications as well as mobile devices. And to secure REST APIs, we use some of these authorization flows. OAuth 2 is used by companies such as Amazon, Google, Facebook, and Microsoft to allow users to share information about their accounts with third-party applications or websites. And the RFC 6749 describes the specification for OAuth 2.0 authorization framework. And next, let's understand the roles defined by OAuth 2. Resource owner is an entity capable of granting access to a protected resource. When the resource owner is a person, it is referred to as an end user. Resource server is the server hosting the protected resources. It is capable of accepting and responding to protected resource requests using access tokens. Client is an application making protected resource requests on behalf of the resource owner and with its authorization. To access the resource, the client must hold the appropriate access token. Authorization server is the server issuing access tokens to the client after successfully authenticating the resource owner and obtaining authorization. And while working with OAuth 2, you will also need to understand the concepts authorization grant. An authorization grant is a credential representing the resource owner's authorization to access its uh, protected resources used by the client to obtain an access token. Access token. Access tokens are credentials used to access protected resources. An access token is a string representing an authorization issued to the client. Access tokens are valid for a specific period of time. Expire tokens are rejected. Refresh token. Refresh tokens are credentials used to obtain access tokens. 
a refresh token may be included when an access token is issued by the authorization server. Refresh tokens are used to obtain a new access token when the current access token becomes invalid or expires. And let me explain the OAuth 2 abstract protocol flow that defines the authorization flow authorization process between client, resource owner, authorization server, and resource server. Firstly, a client sends an authorization request to the resource owner. When the resource owner approves the request, an authorization, an authorization grant is sent back to the client. And then the client sends another request to the authorization server using the authorization grant. If the authorization grant is valid, then the authorization server returns an access token to the client. And then the client uses the access token to send a request to the resource server. If the access token is valid, the resource server returns the protected resource to the client. Note that the authorization server may be the same as the resource server or it can be a separate entity. And a single authorization server may issue access tokens accepted by multiple resource servers. This is uh, abstract protocol flow and depending on different types of clans and uh, different scenarios, there will be uh, more specific uh, protocol flows. Let me give you a concrete example with uh, explanation for the scenario you sign to chat GPT application using the Google account. In this uh, scenario, you are the end user or the resource owner. The resource you own is the account details hosted by Google. Chat GPT is the client application. Google acts as both authorization server and resource server. Chat GPT asks for your account details by directing you to Google's authorization page. You approve Chat GPT's request by sign, signing in to Google using your credentials, username, and password. Then Google returns an authorization code to Chat GPT. Then Chat GPT uses the authorization code to access the account details. Chat GPT uses the account details for its own authentication. So you are now logged in ChatGPT application without exposing your credentials to ChatGPT. And specifically, the OAuth 2.0 specification defines four grand types of four authorization flows. The first one is authorization code flow that requires the resource owner authorizes the client directory via an user agent such as the web browser. This flow is used for server side and mobile applications. And the second flow is implicit flow. The client is issued an access token directory without authentication. This uh, implicit flow is used by JavaScript-centric applications or single-page applications. And the third authorization flow is resource on the password credentials. In this flow, the client uses resource on the credentials directory to obtain an access token. This flow is used for clients that are completely trusted. And the fourth uh, authorization flow is client credentials. In this flow, the client credentials, such as client ID and client secret, can be used as authorization grant. And this flow is used for non-interactive applications, such as in REST APIs and microservices. And the OAuth 2.0 specification also defines uh, some extended authorization flows, such as define authorization code flow that provides means for input constrained devices, such as smart TVs, to open an access token, and refresh token grant flow that allows the client to exchange a refresh token for a new access token. And I think that's enough uh, for the basic and fundamentals of OAuth 2 for beginners. To learn more, I recommend you check the OAuth 2.0 specification in the IFC 6749 at this URL. This is the official specification of the OAuth 2.0 authorization framework. You see, you can understand the uh, different uh, 
authorization flows suggest authorization code grant yeah suggest implicit grant flow here yeah. suggest resource on the password credentials grant flow here yeah. you see so it's recommend it's recommended to check out this official specification uh, to learn more about OAuth 2.0 all right so i hope you now have some good understanding about OAuth 2 Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.